Today, I am going to describe photochemical smog. This could be a project title for third year zoology honor students. I hope you will enjoy the e-learning process. First of all, I would like to say that what is smog and how it is harmful for us. Smog is a secondary air pollutant that is smoke plus fog is equal to smog. It can cause pulmonary dysfunction. Especially it is, it is harmful for senior citizen, children and people with heart and lung disease such as emphysema, bronchitis, asthma, etc. Smog is of two types, industrial smog and photochemical smog. Majority of air pollution was created from the burning of coal for energy generation. Under specific conditions, the smoke and the sulfur dioxide produced from the burning of coal produce industrial smog. And it was first visible in London in the time of industrial revolution so it is named and London smog the other kind that is the photochemical smog is produced when ultraviolet light from the Sun reacts with nitrogen oxides or hydrocarbon in the atmosphere it is visible as brown haze the brown color is due to the nitrogen dioxide formation and the smog is most predominant during morning and afternoon. As I have said earlier that photochemical smog is a secondary pollutant so it is formed from some primary pollutants that is volatile organic compounds, oxides of nitrogen, etc. The example of photochemical smog is Los Angeles smog that is LA smog. Under some specific condition nitrogen dioxide or other oxides of nitrogen and hydrocarbon react to form photochemical smog. Nitrogen oxides from automobile emission, from industrial emission and hydrocarbons from soil, plants under UV ray of sunlight undergo a photochemical reaction that produce photochemical smog a secondary pollutant the secondary air pollutant is composed of pan that is peroxyacetyl nitrate aldehyde and acrolein this picture clearly depicts a situation that under norma normal condition the warm air near the ground is replaced by cold air but in case of photochemical smog or in case of uh, trapped pollutant the warm air is not replaced by the cold air as there is a barrier there is an additional layer which is called photochemical smog which prevents the replacement of warm air with cold air. The sources include nitrogen oxides that comes from smoke of vehicles, volatile organic compound that includes paints, furnishing, glue, adhesives, peroxyacetyl nitrate which is formed by chemical reaction in the atmosphere. Dilli smog is a case study. Delhi is the most polluted city in the world according to a study and for the past few years 
Delhi has been covered in a thick layer of winter smog. The smog is caused by the collection of particulate matter in the air due to stagnant movement of air during winter. Delhi is the most polluted city in the world according to a study. During 2013-14, peak level of fine particulate matter in Delhi increased by about 44%. That is alarming. Delhi has the highest level of airborne particulate matter also. So the dense smog in Delhi during winter season results in major air and rail traffic disruption every year. The severity of smog is, is often measured using nephelometers. Haze, however, can also be an indication of poor air quality and hence the smog is measured using air quality index. Smog can inflame breathing passage, decrease lung working capacity, cause shortness of breath, pain, wheezing, etc. It can cause eyes and nose irritation also. American Cancer Society study found that cumulative exposure also increases the likelihood of premature death. As I have said earlier, smog, smog can irritate and inflame pulmonary membrane. It causes chest pain, coughing and throat irritation. People with asthma problem under greater risk. Smog slowly ruins people's lungs to an extent as great as that of cigarette. Also the other animals and agriculture is hampered due to intensive air pollution that is photochemical smog. Prevention is also there. Vehicles at minimum level should be used and checking the engine smoke emission frequently is required. Prevention of high usage of coal, reduction of fumes from metal working and other industrial plant, pesticide use reduction should be followed and products with low VOC emission should be bite. So students, I think this discussion would be helpful for you. Thank you.